Hi, it's Lou Manfredini, ACES Home Expert. Today we're going to talk about setting a traditional mouse trap. Uh, you'll find at the hardware store a bunch of different mouse traps like this. They come in different sizes. These are the tried and true uh, traps that if you've got a rodent issue in your home, do a pretty good job. Now, I think for most of us, if we grew up watching cartoons, you know, you think about putting a piece of cheese there. But the better thing to use is like peanut butter if you want. Now, when you buy these, you'll see that this little um, wire right here is actually stapled to the wood. You're actually going to pull that off of there to loosen that and discard that little staple because this is the latch that's going to hold the spring back to activate it. Now, you can take a little peanut butter. This happens to be almond butter, you know, in case those mice are uh, have a peanut allergy. I'm just kidding. It doesn't matter, but this is what we have. The reason you want to use like a peanut butter instead of a piece of cheese or even an almond butter is you want to actually apply that there so that they can't run away with it. In other words, if it was a piece of cheese, there's a chance they could grab it and run away with it. Now, this spring that's on here is pretty tight. So you want to make sure that you're very careful when you're using this and you're going to bring that across. You're going to hold your hands here like this. And you see this latch right here? This little hook is going to latch to the side of that and you're going to, you're going to hold it until it catches and you're going to release there and you're going to hold your fingers here and you'll feel that it's holding it in its place and then you're going to peel your hand away. Now. You're gonna carefully, without having to jar it, place it where it needs to go. Remember that rodents like to go in corners. You want this out of the way. Now, of course, if you have a cat or a dog, you can't leave this out of there because if they stick their snoot in there, they're gonna get quite a surprise. But if you place that there and that rodent goes for that peanut butter or almond butter for rodents that have uh, peanut allergies, you're gonna catch them and then you'll grab the whole thing and discard it in the garbage can. If you need more advice or have questions about how to set a mousetrap, just leave it at the bottom of this video.